Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use master orders to streamline your ordering process. Now in my particular store I've got my two different locations and I've got a lot of products that I order from a couple of different vendors, and over the course of the week I might find it difficult to keep track of how many of each item I need to order from which vendor and create several different purchase orders all on the same afternoon. It gets a little bit much to keep track of. So I've started using master orders to help me streamline all of that and keep track of everything a little bit better. Let's go to master orders now and I'll show you how I do that. So start by clicking on inventory followed by master order. So far I don't have any items that are already loaded into the master order yet, but I'm going to show you how you can add some. First, I've already set up a large part of my inventory with reorder points and desired inventory levels, which means that as soon as the inventory stock quantity of a particular item reaches the reorder point, it's going to calculate how many are needed based on the desired inventory level, and I can automatically add that number to my orders by clicking on the Add Reorders button. When I click on that here, you can see that it's automatically figured out that for these four games, my stock is at or below the, the reorder point, and it's automatically filled in the quantity I need in order to get up to my desired inventory level. That's a great place to start, but I know that there was a new game that I just added to my inventory. I haven't had a chance to set up the reorder point for it yet, but I definitely want to order some. So I'm going to manually add that up here on the top left by adding an item to the master order. So I'm going to search for it. And you can see it's already added the game that I need with a quantity of one, and I'm actually going to manually bump that up to, say, three, because it should sell pretty well. Okay, so I've reordered everything that's at or below its reorder point. I've manually added the item I know I definitely want to order that wasn't in the reorder points. There might be more that I need. In fact, I can see here that there's a transfer request from my satellite store for some items that they want that I might not have. If I click on transfers, I can see here that they want two of each of these t-shirts and I currently have zero in stock, so I'm going to need to order some. I can pull those into the master order by selecting the appropriate transfer and saying add transfer. As you can see, it's automatically added those 10 items in the appropriate quantity to this master order. Now, so far, the master order is just a staging ground. I'm just sort of organizing all of the things I need to get, and I've specified the various vendors I'm going to get them from. Most of these are from one particular vendor, but you can see I have a couple of exceptions here. Ordinarily, I'd have to make two separate purchase orders, one for each vendor, but because I've organized everything in the master order first, I can have Lightspeed automatically generate those purchase orders for me. You see here I can assign items to purchase orders, and in this drop-down menu you can see that I can either create new purchase orders to accommodate this master order, or I can use any open orders that are already existing. So any purchase orders I've already started that are still in the open status, rather than create a new one and doubling up the amount of purchase orders I need from that vendor, I can simply add these items to those POs. I currently don't have any, so I'm going to create some new orders. And you can specify here that maybe I don't want to order from all of the vendors at once. Maybe I'm only going to be ordering from one of them this week, so I can specify that. But in this case, I'm going to order from all of the vendors listed here, and I'm going to be creating new orders to do it. Once I click on Assign Items to Orders, and you can see here by the caution symbol that this is not a reversible action, I'm going to say yes, I'm sure I want to assign these items to POs. Once I do, it clears the list in the master order. There's nothing left in staging that has not yet been ordered. And if I go over to Purchase Orders tab, I can now see here that I've created Purchase Order number 29 for Fantasy Flight Games, and I've per created Purchase Order number 30 for Game Right. If I go to Inventory and Purchase Orders, I can see those waiting for me here, just like any purchase order I would have created manually, except that they were both created automatically through the master order. And from this point, 
they can be received as normally and then you can fulfill the transfer request that we had from our satellite store as well. If you'd like more information on how to complete these purchase orders and fulfill that transfer request we had, we have great videos on those subjects as well. But that concludes this video. Don't forget to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.